First, let's practice the sentences and reactions. One. I cleaned my room. That's boring. Two. You practiced on the trampoline. That's great. Three. He watched a DVD about sharks. That's scary. Four. He kicked the ball for three hours. That's okay. Five. They played computer games. That's great. Six. Bahad studied for six hours. That's fantastic. Seven. Ali cooked breakfast. That's great. Eight. Nura stayed home. That's boring. Now practice in pairs. One partner say a sentence. The other partner say what you think about it. Like this. Ali cooked a big breakfast. That's fantastic. Meg stayed home. That's okay. Okay. Now it's your turn. One. That's fantastic. Two. That's great. Three. That's okay. Four. That's boring. Five. That's scary. What did you do over the weekend? I cooked a big breakfast. That's fantastic. What did you do over the weekend? I watched a new DVD. That's great. Now let's play for real. I practiced. You practiced. He practiced. She practiced. We practiced. You practiced. They practiced. Now let's practice. One. Practiced. Practiced. I practiced my English. Two. Watched. Watched. You watched a DVD. Three. Cooked. Cooked. She cooked breakfast. Four. Kicked. Kicked. He kicked a ball. Five. Cleaned. Cleaned. They cleaned the house. Six. Stayed. Stayed. We stayed at home. Seven. Played. Played. You played outside. Eight. Studied. Studied. You studied a little. First, let's practice the verb ending sounds. For ed, say t. Practice, practiced. Watch, watched. Cook, cooked. Kick, kicked. Now, for ed, say d. Clean, cleaned. Stay. Stayed. Play. Played. Study. Studied. Now, you try it in pairs. One partner say the verb, the other partner say the past tense form. Then, change. Like this. Watch. Watched. Play. Played. 
Now change. Practice. Practiced. Clean. Cleaned. Okay. Now it's your turn. Verb game one. Practice. Let's play. Listen carefully to the sentences and circle the past tense verbs. I practiced on the trampoline. He kicked a ball. You played outside. You watched a DVD. We stayed at school. She cooked breakfast. Done. Okay. Tell me your answers. Practiced. Kicked. Played. Watched. Stayed. Cooked. Yes, that's right. Well done. Now, let's play for real. Okay, did you write eight verbs and one star in the squares in a different order? Now, listen carefully to the sentences and circle the verbs. Are you ready? They cleaned the car. You played outside. You watched a DVD. She cooked breakfast. We stayed at school. You studied a little. He practiced his English. I kicked a ball. Did you get them all? Fantastic! Now, let's play again. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Is there anything to eat? Why don't we make a pizza? That's a great idea. What do we need? Let me see. We need flour, oil, cheese, tomatoes, peppers, and mushrooms. How much flour do we need? We need two cups of flour. And oil? How much oil do we need? Half a cup of oil. And cheese? How much cheese? Three cups of cheese. Wow! That's a lot of cheese. What about tomatoes? How many tomatoes do we need? Four tomatoes. Okay. Four tomatoes. How many peppers? Two peppers. How many mushrooms do we need? Ten mushrooms. Okay, good. Now let's play for real. Okay, let's check and see what we have. We have some flour, but we don't have any oil. Okay, so we need to buy some oil. We have cheese. What about tomatoes and peppers? We have five tomatoes, but we don't have any peppers. So, we need to buy oil and peppers. And mushrooms. We don't have any mushrooms. Okay, good. Now practice in pairs. First, let's practice the food names. Appetizers, leek soup, blue cheese, main course, spaghetti with meat sauce, seafood spaghetti, side dishes, 
French fries, green salad, desserts, ice cream, fruit salad, drinks, honey tea, green tea. Today's special: turkey mayonnaise. Now make pairs. One partner is the waiter or waitress, and the other is the customer. What would you like? I'd like leek soup, seafood spaghetti, green salad, and ice cream, please. What drink would you like? I'd like green tea, please. Sure. Just a moment. Now let's play for real. N D sand, N T tent, sand, 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 tent, 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 tent. Hand, 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 hand. Paint. Paint, paint, paint. Stand, 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 stand. Plant, 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 plant. Now write the missing letters and say the words. First, listen. And circle. There is sand all around. There is sand in my hand. Golden sand in the sun. There's a tent on the land. There's a tent on the sand. Golden sand in the sun. Are you ready? Let's chant. There is sand all around. There is sand in my hand. Golden sand in the sun. There's a tent on the land. There's a tent on the sand. Golden sand in the sun. First, let's practice reading the store signs. Billy goats suits and coats, blue cow shoes, juicy fruits, snow go. Now practice the store names and what they sell. Billy goats suits and coats sells suits and coats. Blue cow shoes sells boots, shoes, and sandals. Juicy fruits sells mangoes, grapefruit, and oranges. Snowgo sells snowboards and skis. Now make pairs. One partner is the customer, and the other is the information person. Like this. Can I help you? Yes, please. Where can I get mangoes, grapefruit, and oranges? Right over there at Juicy Fruit, and where can I get suits and coats? Right over there at Billy Goat's suits and coats. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, now it's your turn. What good things happened to you last year? One, I won a table tennis game by twenty-one to three. Two, I got first place in a race. Three, I was team captain. Four, I made a rocket. Five, 
I saw a rainbow. What bad things happened to you last year? Six. We lost a football game by eight to zero. Seven. I caught a cold. Eight. My dad had an operation. Nine. I broke my leg. Ten. We were stuck in an elevator. Now, test a partner. One partner point to a picture and say the number. The other partners say the sentence, like this. Four. I made a rocket. Seven. I caught a cold. Now, let's do it for real. First, let's practice the questions. What happened to you yesterday? What happened to you last week? What happened to you last month? What happened to you last year? Now, let's practice the comments. One. Congratulations. Two. So did I. Three. How nice. Four. Sorry about that. Five. How scary. Now, ask, listen, and comment like this. What happened to you yesterday? I won a table tennis game by 21 to 3. Congratulations! What happened to you last week? I caught a cold. Sorry about that. Now, let's do it for real. I won. You won. He won. She won. We won. You won. They won. Won. Lost. Lost. I lost a tennis match. Two. One. One. We won a football game. Three. Got. Got. I got 200 points in a computer game. Four. Was. Was. I was sick. Five. Made. Made. I made a treehouse. Six. Saw. Saw. I saw a rainbow. Seven. Caught. Caught. I caught a big fish. Eight. Had. Had. We had a cake. Nine. Broke. Broke. I broke my glasses. Ten. Were. Were. We were happy. First, let's practice the irregular verbs. Win, won. Lose, lost. Get, got. Am, is, was. Make, made. See, saw. Catch, caught. Have, has, had. Break, broke. Are, were. Now practice in pairs. One partner say a verb. The other partner say the past tense form. Like this. Are you ready? Okay. Are. Were. 
Win. One. Okay, my turn. Lose. Lost. Get. Got. Okay, now it's your turn. Verb game one. Practice. Let's play. Listen carefully to the sentences and circle the past tense verbs. I caught a big fish. I lost a football game. I got 200 points in a computer game. I had a cake. We were happy. I want to win. I'm so close. I made a treehouse. Done. Okay. Tell me your answers. Lost, caught, got, had, were, made. Yes, that's right. Well done. Now, let's play for real. Okay, did you write nine verbs in the verb game squares in a different order? Now, listen carefully to the sentences and circle the verbs. Are you ready? I got 200 points in a computer game. We lost a football game. We were happy. I caught a big fish. I made a treehouse. I had a cake. I saw a rainbow. I was sick. I broke my glasses. Did you get all the verbs? That's great. Now, let's play again. My brother Khaled. My brother Khaled went to the cupboard to find something to eat. But when he got there, the cupboard was bare and so he had nothing to eat. He went to the grocer's to buy some fruit and milk. But when he came back, he was holding an empty brown bag. Poor Khaled. Okay, now it's your turn. Like this. First, let's practice the verbs. Went, goes, got, gets, was, is, had, has, went, goes, came, comes, was. Is. Okay, now change the verb tense and say the chant like this. My brother Richard goes to the cupboard to find something to eat. But when he gets there, the cupboard is bare, and so he has nothing to eat. He goes to the grocer's to buy some fruit and milk. But when he comes back, he is holding an empty brown bag. Poor Richard. Okay, now it's your turn. First, let's practice the words. Listen and point. Meat, chicken, cheese, butter, tomatoes, salad, macaroni, bread, carrots, onions, potatoes, apples, Rice, flour, eggs, oil, juice, milk, mustard.
mustard. Ketchup. Are you ready? Now listen and circle the words. We had some meat, but we didn't have any cheese. We had some tomatoes, but we didn't have any macaroni. We had some onions, but we didn't have any apples. We had some flour, but we didn't have any eggs. We had some juice, but we didn't have any mustard. Now make pairs and write a list of what they had. What did they cook? Change the words and rewrite the chant with a partner. Exchange chants. What can you cook? Comment on the chant. I think it's boring, interesting, funny, easy, difficult. F says f, f, frog, frog, f, f, frog. P H says f, f, phone, f, f, phone. G H says f, f, laugh, f, f, laugh. Remember, they all make the same sound. One. Friends. Friends. Did you circle F? Two. Photo. Photo. Did you circle PH? Three, elephant, elephant. Did you circle P H? Four, laugh, laugh. Did you circle G H? Now write the missing letters and complete the words. Enough! Don't laugh. I know it's tough, but it's lots of fun. Enough! Don't laugh. I know it's tough, but it's lots of fun. First, listen and read the text. Then, read it on your own. Yesterday, we went to an adventure park. Our father drove us there. My sister and I saw some friends from school and played with them. Then we went on rides with our parents. It was great fun. After the rides, Dad got me a burger. My sister didn't want one. So he got her an ice cream. We were really good, so Dad promised to take us again next week. I can't wait. Now read it on your own and circle me, her, us, them. One. What's the name of your school? 
Bad Rock Elementary School. Two. How many students are there in your school? About one thousand. Three. Do you have school lunch at your school? Yes, we do every day. Four. Does your school have a school bus? Yes, it does. It has a big yellow bus. Five. Do you have a school uniform? Yes, we do. Six. What time does your school start? It starts at eight thirty. Are you ready? Make pairs. One partner ask a question. The other partner give an answer. Like this. Okay, let's start. You go first. What's the name of your school? Little Rock Elementary School. How many students are there in your school? I don't know. Do you have school lunch at your school? No, we don't. We bring our own. Does your school have a school bus? No, it doesn't. Do you have a school uniform? No, we don't. What time does your school start? It starts at eight o'clock. Okay, now it's your turn. What's the name of your school? Now make pairs and let's do it for real. Okay, are you finished writing? Can you get up and talk about your school? Hi, let me introduce my school. The name of my school is Thirteenth Elementary School. There are about six hundred students in my school. Wow, that's a lot of students. We don't have school lunch at our school. Our school doesn't have a school bus. We have a school uniform. Our school starts at eight o'clock. Your school sounds cool. Okay, that was great. Thank you. Now let's do it for real. Who's next? One. Which subject do you like most this year? This year, I like math. Two. Which subject did you like most last year? Last year, I liked PE. Three. Which grade are you in this year? This year, I am in the sixth grade. Four. Which grade were you in last year? Last year, I was in the fifth grade. Five. Which city do you live in? We live in Najran. Six. Which city did you and your parents go to last year? Last year. We went to Riyadh. Make pairs. One partner ask a question. The other partner give an answer, like this. Okay, I'll start. Which subject do you like most this year? This year, I like English. Which subject did you like most last year? Last year, I liked science. Which grade are you in this year? This year, I'm in the sixth grade. Which grade were you in last year? Last year, I was in the fifth grade. Which city do you live in? We live in Jazan. Which city did you and your parents go to last year? Last year, we went to Abha. Now it's your turn. Which subject do you like most this year? This year I like PE. Now you try.
First, let's practice the verbs. Do, did, are, were, like, liked, go, went. Now, practice in pairs. One partner say a verb. The other partner say the past tense form, like this. Are you ready? Okay. Are, were, go, went, do, did, like, liked. Okay, now it's your turn. Like, liked. Okay, now it's your turn. Subject race one. Practice. First, let's practice the subject words. Listen, point, and say. Language. Science. Math. Social studies. English. P.E. Art. History. Okay, good. Now let's play. Listen carefully to the sentences and circle the subject words for last year. This year, I like science. Last year, I liked language. This year, I like history. Last year, I liked P.E. This year, I like English. Last year, I liked social studies. Done. Okay, tell me your answers. Language. Social studies. P.E. Yes, that's right. Well done. Now, let's play for real. Okay, did you write eight subject words and the star in the subject race squares in a different order? Now, listen carefully to the sentences and circle the subject words for last year. Are you ready? Star. This year, I like math. Last year, I liked art. This year, I like social studies. Last year, I liked language. This year, I like English. Last year, I liked science. This year, I like history. Last year, I liked P.E. Did you get the words? Good job! Now, let's play again. Rana had a little lamb. Rana had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Rana went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. First, let's practice the verbs. Had, has, was, is, went, goes, was, is. Followed, follows, was, is, made, makes. Okay, now change the verb tense and chant like this. Rana has a little lamb. 
its fleece is white as snow. Everywhere that Rana goes, the lamb is sure to go. It follows her to school one day, which is against the rules. It makes the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Okay, now it's your turn. First, let's practice some words and phrases. Listen, point, and say. Don't shout. Listen. Stand up. Ask. Don't forget. Use. Don't make. Speak. When you have a problem. When you present. Speak clearly. Too much noise. When you play games. Do your homework. When you study English. Now, listen and match. Draw a line, like this. Don't shout. Speak clearly. Don't shout. Speak clearly. Don't shout. Speak clearly. Listen to the teacher. Stand up when you present. Ask for help when you have a problem. Don't forget to do your homework. Use your CD when you study English. Don't make too much noise when you play games. Speak English in class. Okay, now copy the rules. Work with a partner. Find pictures and make a poster. SC says sk, sk, scarf, scarf, sk. Sk, scarf. SK says sk, sk, sky. Sk, sk, sky. SQ says sk, sk, square. Sk, sk, square. Remember, they all make the same sound. Sky, sky. Did you write SK? Square, square. Did you write SQ? Scarf, scarf. Did you write SC? Skate, skate. Did you write SK? Squeeze, squeeze. Did you write SQ? Scary, scary. Did you write SC? Skirt, skirt. Did you write SK? Squid, squid. Did you write SQ? Scan, scan.
First, listen and read the text. Then, read it on your own. I live in a small town. I have lots of friends, and we all go to the same school. Our school is really cool. There are about twenty classrooms, a library, a big yard, and an art workshop. The principal's office and the teachers' lounge are on the ground floor. There are smart classrooms in our school with computers, projectors, and interactive boards. We really like using our smart classroom. Now read on your own. Then write about your school. What should you do to live a healthy life? Good things I should do. One, I should get up early. Two, I should drink a lot of water. Three, I should eat three meals a day. Four, I should brush my teeth well. Five, I should do some exercise. Six, I should go to bed early. Bad things I shouldn't do. Seven. I shouldn't eat too much junk food. Eight. I shouldn't drink too much soda. Nine. I shouldn't watch too much TV. Ten. I shouldn't stay up late. Eleven. I shouldn't play too many computer games. Twelve. I shouldn't skip breakfast. Now test a partner. One partner point to the picture and say a number. The other partner say the sentence like this. One, I should get up early. Seven, I shouldn't eat too much junk food. Now let's do it for real. One, practice the frequency markers. I always do. I usually do. I sometimes do. I usually don't. I never do. Two. Do the questionnaire. First, let's practice the sentences. One. I get up early. Two. I eat breakfast. Three. I go to bed early. Four, I brush my teeth. Five, I play with my friends. Six, I play outside. Seven, I take a bath or shower. Now do the questionnaire. Now add up the total score. Look at the green, orange, and red chart at the bottom. If your score is fifty to seventy points, you can say, "I live a very healthy life." If it's thirty to fifty points, you can say, "I live a so-so healthy life." If it's less than thirty points, you can say, "I don't think I live a healthy life." Then do three. Talk to your partner about your score, like this. I got sixty-five points. I live a very healthy life. Well done. You live a very healthy life. I got forty points. I live a so-so healthy life. Yeah, forty points. Hmm. You live a so-so healthy life. Now let's do it for real. Did you get up early this morning? Yes, I got up early this morning. No, I didn't get up early this morning. 
Did you drink milk this morning? Yes, I drank milk this morning. No, I didn't drink milk this morning. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I ate breakfast this morning. No, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Did you brush your teeth this morning? Yes, I brushed my teeth this morning. No, I didn't brush my teeth this morning. Make pairs. One partner asks a question. The other partner gives an answer. Like this. Okay, you start. Did you get up early this morning? Yes, I got up early this morning. Did you drink milk this morning? No, I didn't drink milk this morning. Did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes. I ate breakfast this morning. Did you brush your teeth this morning? No, I didn't brush my teeth this morning. Okay, now it's your turn. Did you get up early this morning? No, I didn't get up early this morning. Did you drink milk this morning? Yes, I drank milk this morning. Now let's do it for real. First, let's practice the verbs. Regular verbs. Play. Played. Talk. Talked. Brush. Brushed. Watch. Watched. Irregular verbs. Get up. Got up. Eat. Ate. Do. Did. Go to bed. Went to bed. Drink. Drank. Now practice in pairs. One partner says a verb. The other partner says the past tense form. Like this. Are you ready? Okay. Get up. Got up. Eat. Ate. Okay, my turn. Brush. Brushed. Watch. Watched. Okay, now it's your turn. Verb game one. Practice. Let's play. Listen carefully and circle the verbs. I played outside. I drank milk this morning. My sister followed me to school. He ate my sandwich. I went to the principal's office. I got extra homework. Done. Okay, tell me your answers. Played, drank, followed, ate, went, got. Yes, that's right. Well done. Now let's play for real. Okay, did you write nine verbs in the game squares in a different order? Now, listen carefully to the sentences and circle the verbs. Are you ready? I drank orange juice. I played computer games. I ate a big breakfast. I went to school by car. I got up early this morning. I stayed at home on Saturday. Look, you missed one. There. The cat followed me to school. I brushed my hair. I did my homework yesterday. Did you get the answers? Good job! Now let's play again.
Early to bed. Early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Late to bed. Late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy, grumpy, and tired. Early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy, grumpy, and tired. First, let's practice the words and verb chunks. Listen, point, and say. Have a headache. Too many. Computer games. Exciting. Have a toothache. Teeth. Forget. Have a stomach ache. Have breakfast. Hungry. Have an earache. Clean your ears. Let's do it again. Have a headache. Too many. Computer games. Exciting. Have a toothache. Teeth. Forget. Have a stomach ache. Have breakfast. Hungry. Have an earache. Clean your ears. Now, let's practice. I have a headache. Did you play too many computer games? Yes, I did. I know I shouldn't, but the new games were really exciting. I have a toothache. Do you brush your teeth every day? Well, usually, but sometimes I forget. I have a stomach ache. Did you have breakfast in the morning? No, I didn't. I know I should, but I wasn't hungry. I have an earache. Do you clean your ears every day? Well, I try, but sometimes I forget. Good. Now mime and practice in pairs. Change the order. You are says er, er, purple, purple. You are says er, er, purple. I are says er, er, bird, bird. I are says er, er, bird. Remember. You are and I are make the same sound. Shirt, shirt. Did you write I are? Girl, girl. Did you write I are? Turtle. Turtle. Did you write you are? Burger. Burger. Did you write you are? Well done. Now read and spell the words with a partner. Did you read the story on your own? Now listen and check your reading. Story of a horse from a farm. A horse from a farm asked a purple bird in the park, Do you like corn? 
Yes, I do, answered the purple bird. And chirp, chirp, she flew away. First, let's practice the words listen, point, and say. Girls' clothes, scarf, 80 Saudi rials. Belt, 20 Saudi rials. Skirt, 160 Saudi rials. Uniform, 280 Saudi rials. Boys' clothes, T-shirt, 100 Saudi rials. Jacket, 160 Saudi rials. Trousers, 160 Saudi rials. Sweater, 60 Saudi rials. Now make pairs. One partner is the storekeeper and the other is the customer. Can I help you? Yes, please. I want a sweater. Which one? This one? Yes, thanks. How much is it? It's 60 Saudi rials. Here you go. Here's your change. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Now do it for real. <laughs> 